Hi, welcome. I want to show here how we can calculate the plastic section modulus of a cross section. We know, uh, do we allow that we have plastification in the cross section, then the stress distribution in our model looks like this. And if we calculate the moment resistance of this beam, then all stress vectors here have the, the length of the yield strength. So to calculate uh, the moment resistance, we have to calculate, let me see, MBRD, which is then FY times WB plastics divided by gamma M0. And there we have to calculate uh, WB plastic, so the plastic section modulus, if I look on this beam that the cross section looks like this. this. I want to show how do we calculate this uh, plastic section modulus. Okay, let me sketch the cross section here and I will use some dimensions to show numerical values here. Let me see, that is here 100, that is 20, that is 20, that is 20, and this here is 200. Then we have the dimensions, and to calculate the plastic section modulus means we have to divide this object about uh, in two, two equal parts about the axis of interest. So the axis of interest is here, this horizontal axis. Yes, and then go here. That is the axis that divides the cross section into two equal parts. So this area and this area they should be the same. That's the first step I have to make. To make. And then I have to find the area, mo the, the the center of gravity of this part of the cross section, which is the same in this direction. And then we have to calculate the first area moment of inertia. Of inertia it means we have to calculate area times distance of the center of gravity to the axis of interest. And we have it two times and then we get the section modulus, uh, the plastic section modulus. Okay, I will sketch it. So first we have to divide it into two parts. So I show it like this. Divide it into two equal parts. And the result is then, I show the upper part, and then we calculate the area moment, the center of gravity of this upper part here. So, so that is the axis of interest. Yes, we have divided it into two parts here. And here are the dimensions, the upper part, and I know the local centers of gravity. So here's one center of gravity, and here's the other center of gravity. Yes, and I have to write down the dimensions. So from here to here, it is 20. From here to here was 20. And the length here was 100. 100. Then that the height was 200, so here we have half part, it's 100. That means this here, from here to here, is 80. Yes, 20. Um, the, this here, the position of the center of gravity, of this local center of gravity, is then 40. And the position of this local center of gravity here is then 90. And now I have to have the areas here. This area here is 80 times 20, which is 1,600. And this here is 20 times 100, which is 2,000. So now we have the areas. Now we are interested. We are interested in the center of gravity of this construction here. It will be in this position here, and then we can calculate the section, the plastic section modulus. So, so I write down y s. Y is going up. It's then the distance 40 times the area 
1600 plus 90, this, this, this distance of this local center of gravity, 90 times the area here, 2000, divided by the whole area here, which is 3600. It is 2000 plus, plus 1600. If I calculate it then, I get 76.77 as the coordinate in y direction of this um, center of gravity of this construction here. Now, to calculate the plastic modulus, we have to multiplicate the distance in this direction of the center of gravity with the area. And we have it on the other side at the same time, it means we have it two times. So I can say 67, so it's 40, so this, this is this position where the center of gravity is here. 67.77, so 67.77 times area is 2000 plus 1600, and that have been two times. We have the upper area and the lower area, and we have to calculate the first moment of inertia about this acid axis of interest, which, me which means distance of center of gravity times the area. And if we calculate it, we get this res is the result. 488,000, and if it is as unit millimeter, millimeter to the third. And then we have found the area moment of inertia. That's the step we have used here, can I say again, first we have divided our profile in two parts which have the same area, and then we have calculated the center of gravity of this upper part, and then we have calculated the distance from the axis of interest to this center of gravity of the upper part times the upper, the upper part, and we have the same on the other side, so we have it two times. That's the reason why we have these two here. And then we have the result. Plastic modulus of this object is 488,000 millimeters to the third.